Hi, Mary Helen Bowers, founder of Ballet Beautiful. Today we're going to be talking about proper positioning and technique of the arms in your Ballet Beautiful workouts. So whenever we're working with Ballet Beautiful, you want to keep in mind to remember to keep the neck nice and long. You want to open through the chest and have that beautiful upright posture. That's going to help you build the strength, the muscles to hold that posture into place and so that you get that beautiful ballet carriage of the arms. So a few things to keep in mind. Neck long. I like to think about opening through the chest. So never bringing those shoulders forward. You never want to roll in. Even if you're taking the arms front, the shoulders are still open. So a nice long line here. Almost as if someone is pulling um, through the top of your back, right between your shoulder blades. Imagine somebody is just pinching right there, a little light pressure, pulling the chest open. And then as you open the chest, open the neck, you wanna be careful that you're not arching the back. You don't wanna have that weakness here. So you wanna think about, in ballet we talk about keeping the ribs closed. So that means pulling the stomach in and thinking about the muscles here connecting through your ribs all the way down to the hips. I like to have this connection from the top of the rib cage to the hips so that you're strong, you're connected, and you're open through your chest and your upper body. So when we're working on our port bras another thing to keep in mind is no drooping sort of scarecrow elbows and hands. When you're working with the arms to the side, you don't want to have those elbows um, dropping. You want to think about stretching long. I always prefer for people to think about stretching and extending out rather than up with the arms because sometimes when you think up, the shoulders will lift. So it's always extending the arms all the way from the fingertips and down and putting a bit of resistance in to your movement. So if you have a problem thinking about what resistance means, it just means a little bit of weight. Imagine that you're moving through water. If you ever get the chance to practice your swan arms when you're in the pool, in the ocean, wherever you are, um, where you have that natural resistance of the water, it's a wonderful way to challenge the body and to think about um, how to make those arm exercises more beautiful and effective. Because with Ballet Beautiful, we're trying to add that resistance naturally. So imagine if you had a little light pair of weights or you're moving through a heavy fog or water, that's gonna add that resistance naturally. A few key positions, taking the arms up to first, the chest is open, pulling in tight. So with ballet, from some of my earliest dance classes, they always sort of hold the beach ball. Imagine that you're hugging a beach ball, a nice round ball here, but again, you're not taking the shoulders forward, you're not reaching forward with your upper body. You're open, you're pulled up, you're pulled back. Opening to second position, don't let those elbows wilt. Even when you get tired, it's better to stop, take a stretch, take a rest, reset, and keep that proper technique. So it's good to have the arms slightly forward so that you can see them in your peripheral vision. So just from the sides of your eyes, you can see those hands. They're nice and long, stretching long, extending through those elbows. You don't wanna lock the arms and be all the way straight, but you also don't wanna collapse. When you're taking the arms up, same thing. You're lifting almost from the back of your chest, from your shoulder blades, pulling up and in, lifting up long through that neck, and we're lowering down. So even when you have a range of motion in your port de bras, you always have that strength and stability.